All right, so now before we get started here, this is mostly just for fun. You know, every season I fill one of these out and post it on YouTube. It's getting to be more and more ridiculous as I watch less and less college basketball each season. I'm a Dayton Flyers fan. They're not in the tournament this year. Ohio State Buckeyes fan. They are. They've had a very inconsistent year. So I don't know. Okay, enough of that. just want to say I am not an expert. But if you just want to watch this and fill out your bracket for fun with me, let's do this. All right, so over here in the West, we're going to start out. we got Gonzaga versus Georgia State. Is it Zaga or Zaga? I say both, you'll notice, as this bracket goes on. You'll notice me saying Gonzaga and Gonzaga. So the Zags are going to win their first game against Georgia State. Sorry, Georgia State. think they're new to this whole D1 thing. Congratulations for making the tournament. Now we got Boise State and Memphis right off the bat. These 8-9 and nine matchups are always great. Saw Boise State play in the first four in Dayton one time. Memphis, though, we're going with them right there. Not quite the upset alert, even though they are. Now this 12-5, and five, one we're always looking out for. But I'm not looking for the upset there. I'm taking UConn, but this one right here, bang, bang, upset alert. We're taking Vermont, the home of the Peafish, over Arkansas. 13s occasionally pick up some wins in the tournament, so we're taking them over Arkansas. The SEC, I feel like, had some great teams this year, but Vermont's going to get them. Alabama, speaking of the SEC, they should have no problem taking out either Rutgers or Notre Dame, I believe that is there. <clears throat> Then we got Texas Tech taking on Montana State in the next matchup, a 14 versus a 3. We'll take the Red Raiders there. I think that's what they are. Davidson versus Michigan State. Davidson out of the A-10, playing the Flyers a couple times this year. We're going to take the Spartans. Izzo, good tournament coach. Ooh, look at this. We got Izzo versus Coach K in the second round. You know, I do not feel like Coach K and his jet black hair are going to win a national title. But I do think they're going to get past Michigan State into the Sweet 16. Then we got Alabama versus Texas Tech. This might be an interesting football game. Not really. Probably wouldn't even be an interesting football game. Alabama would crush them there. We're taking Texas Tech. So right there, we got three and two. Getting to be a little chalky. Enough with the chalk. We're taking Vermont. Another upset over UConn. Then things are going to get real because Gonzaga is going to take out Memphis. And then this little Cinderella run by Vermont's coming to an end. We're taking the Zags. We're taking Duke, then we're taking Gonzaga. I hate that that's a one and two. Right off the bat, the first bracket, I ended up with a one and a two. But it's going to happen a little bit. We're taking Gonzaga over Duke. Coach K not going to the Final Four. I guess now we'll head down here to the East, see what Baylor and Norfolk State are up to. Baylor's going to win that one. The Tar Heels are going to win over Marquette, I believe. Two tradition-rich teams there. St. Mary's, yeah, I'm not so impressed with them. That conference they come out of, they always have a nice record. And then they kind of flop in the tournament. Well, we got Wyoming versus IU. It's that 5-12. We're taking the play-in game winner, whether if it's Wyoming or IU. Doesn't matter. St. Mary's going down in the first round. That's your 12 seed that's moving on. UCLA is going to take out Akron. Virginia Tech, eh, they lost to the Flyers this year. They are in the ACC. Eh, I'm flip-flopping on that one. We're ultimately going with Texas, though. <clears throat> Purdue, no problems with the Ivy Leaguers. San Fran versus Murray State. This seems like a perfect setup to take the 10. Murray State, not to be effed with. Much like Warren Haynes, they're going on. Kentucky's going to blow out St. Peter's. Kentucky's obviously going to take out Murray State. Texas versus Purdue. I think we're going with the Longhorns there over the Big Ten Boilermakers. UCLA is going to move on. Baylor's going to move on. UCLA with a slight upset over Baylor. Texas versus Kentucky. We're going to take, oh man, I think I like Kentucky there. Kentucky versus UCLA. Boy, two more teams with a lot of tradition. They love setting it up. I'm sure they would love it if Kentucky does end up playing UCLA for the Final Four. I think we're going to have to go with Kentucky there. So now we got a one and a two in the Final Four. We're going to have to fix some things over here, you know. I mean, although sometimes when it gets down to the Final Four, the upsets seem to go crazy in the first two rounds. We're taking Arizona. A right state is going to win their play-in game, hopefully, but then lose to Arizona. We got TCU over Seton. Nah, we'll take Seton Hall over TCU. I believe in Houston. The five seed is safe there against, ooh, Chattanooga is going to give Illinois problems. They're going to give them so many problems. Chattanooga might win the game. We're taking Chattanooga over Illinois. Sorry to the Illini. Michigan over Colorado State. Nope. <clears throat> We're taking Colorado State. Sorry to the Wolverines. I don't know if slap happy Jawan Howard's back or not. Tennessee over Longwood. Who is Longwood? I've never heard of Longwood. 
loyal Chicago versus my Buckeyes. I oh man, I'm so tempted to take the ten seed loyal Chicago right there. I think I'm going to man. I am sorry to the Buckeye faithful, but loyal Chicago is a decent team. The Buckeyes they've been inconsistent. This isn't football. We're taking Villanova over Denver. Take Villanova over Loyola Chicago. We're going to take Colorado State over the Volunteers. Chattanooga, I'm sorry, guys. Your run's coming to an end. Arizona gets by Seton Hall. Houston's going to beat Arizona. And then we're going to get a huge upset here. Colorado State is going to beat Villanova. And that is how Houston is going to sneak into the Final Four as a five seed. Being a little disrespected, you know. I don't strength the schedule and all this. But we got the five seed Houston in the Final Four. They've been getting bad. You know, they've had good teams for many years now. Not a lot of luck in the tournament. This is their year. We got Kansas, even though they lost to the Flyers. They're going to win their first game. Creighton's going to take out San Diego State. Richmond, who just finished the Flyers' hopes of the tournament run. I believe, uh, I think Iowa's going to, uh, I think Iowa's going to get Richmond. I think Providence is probably going to get past South Dakota State. We're going to take Iowa State over LSU as an upset alert there a little bit, but not really. Wisconsin over Colgate. I think Southern Cal is going to take out the Hurricanes. we got Auburn, Jacksonville State. Auburn, Dion is nowhere to be found, so we're going to take Auburn there. Auburn's going to also take out Southern Cal. Wisconsin moving on. Mm, the Hawkeyes and Providence. Ooh, that's a good one. I think we'll take the Hawkeyes there. Creighton versus Kansas. I like Creighton for the huge upset there. Allowing ways for the Hawkeyes to sneak into the Elite Eight. We're going to get a possible Big Ten matchup. The two versus the three. Wisconsin-Auburn? Uh, I think so, man. I think Wisconsin's going to get by Auburn. Maybe I got a little Big Ten bias here because I have seen a little bit of these teams. I like Wisconsin there. Now we got Houston versus Wisconsin. Gonzaga versus Kentucky. <sighs> it's been kind of a quiet. You know, Kentucky... <clears throat> kind of hard for them to go under the radar the zags you know everybody loves them they never come through and win the national title we got houston versus wisconsin over here let's pick this one first i think the badgers are going to get by houston the wildcats are going to get by the zags and then kentucky's going to win the whole damn thing they're going to win at 77 to 73 <laughs> Why not? I'm not entering any of that. Let's submit our picks. That's the final four. Boom. If you watch the whole venue, video, venue, if you watch the whole video, thank you so much. And uh, good luck with your bracket. And this is awesome. I haven't watched much college basketball this year, but I love this time of year. Submit picks. Boom.